In other news, on the defensive following a rocky few days after a heavily criticized troop withdrawal from Afghanistan, U.S. President Joe Biden has clarified his position on defending Washington's numerous allies around the world, including South Korea. He insists the situation in Afghanistan cannot be compared to that of other countries with a U.S. troop presence. Chang Taehyun has his story. U.S. President Joe Biden is insisting that Washington's allies like South Korea, Taiwan and European countries are fundamentally different from Afghanistan in terms of U.S. security commitment and don't have to worry despite the developments seen over the past few days. He made the remarks during an interview with ABC that aired in the U.S. on Wednesday local time. His comments come as concerns are rising over Biden's decision to suddenly pull American troops out of Afghanistan, which was quickly retaken by the Taliban. President Biden claimed there's a fundamental difference between Taiwan, South Korea and NATO, adding the U.S. has made agreements with those with a unity government not based on a civil war. Biden stressed the U.S. is trying to keep bad guys from doing bad things to them. He also emphasized that the U.S. has kept every commitment it has given to its allies. President Biden noted how the White House made a sacred commitment to NATO's Article 5, which means if anyone invades or takes action against another NATO member, the U.S. will respond. That goes for South Korea as well. In the meantime, U.S. State Department spokesperson Ned Price said Thursday that, quote, it's safe to say that this administration has prioritized our system of alliances and partnerships in profound ways, and we've done that because we recognize them as a profound source of strength. He added that this is the reason Secretary Blinken has consulted with NATO allies, because when it comes to Afghanistan, they're making decisions in close coordination. Chang Taehyun, Arirang News.